Hey, what's going on guys? Log.zip here, and welcome back to the Infinite Stone, episode 3. Today, we've got a mission, and in addition to the mission, I ain't kidding. Uh, I, uh, kidding doesn't rhyme with that. I was trying to make it keep rhyming, but I, I messed it up somehow. Yes, today we got a mission. Uh, we are on the mission to get Lapis, which is very expensive, and this is episode 3 of the Infinite Stone. You guys are continuing to blow my mind. Keep crushing those Raidens. If I keep seeing all the support, we're going to try and make this as daily as we can. Spoke to Mr. Void. He has updated the map once again. Now, this should be the final update you need to worry about. Again, the map itself is, is in beta. It's in development. Uh, the easiest way I would recommend you guys to get your progress back is to just simply cheat it back. But don't cheat it back further than you, made, than you went. For example, if you want to get your progress back... You would just do scoreboard, uh, players, set, no, you'd, you'd, you put it to add, or you could do set, and then instead of name right there, uh, if you want to get your progress back as to what's in your bank, you type S, N, G, if you're further, just add the letter that appears over here, and then the number you want to add to it. I updated the map to get the new features, uh, so I just set it back to whatever it was at the end of last episode. So I didn't cheat, technically. I actually set myself a little bit worse than I was off before. Uh, there's really no point to cheating these types of maps. Similar to Cookie Clicker, you can cheat on that if you really want to. But what was changed and what was added was little coal blocks in different areas so that let's say you want to restart your map or whatever and your stuff's gone just add the buttons to these blocks and we'll unlock the bank again it will unlock the villages again and in addition there's been a new area added I don't really know about it it's the conversion center uh, the make the map maker void has been reading the comments on our videos so you guys have been influencing the map, and he's added a conversion center. It's still a work in progress, but basically the idea is eventually you're going to be able to take all that stone. Since after a certain point, mining stone becomes literally useless. There's like no point in doing it. So he's adding a little conversion center with a call office. Check this guy. Look at this guy. Yes. <gasps> yes. Look at that tie menacing face. How about a new trade? <laughs> How about a new trade? Oh my god. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, he's gotta have another. What is your request for me today, gentlemen? Wow, that's a long one. That's a very long message. So it doesn't actually work yet, but proof is in the pudding. He's actually reading the comments and taking suggestions from the comments. So if you are really enjoying the series and you play it yourself, leave feedback for him and there's a chance it'll be implemented. Anyways, as I said, Today, we are on a mission. First of all, I just love doing this. We are on a mission today. I want to get the... Come on, get a get a perfect stack. Yes, 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 it's hard. So I'm all obsessed with that. Today, we are on a mission to get ourselves to Lapis. Now, Lapis requires a bunch of grindy, grindy, grindy trading. Yes, we're going to have to do this trade that many more times in order to unlock one of the, um, there's an option with the helper villager to get a new helper, which will get us two emeralds every single freaking second, and then we won't have to worry about this stupid spam trading anymore. But once you get that helper, you get yourself two emeralds per second. We're already 12 deep. Um, I think it's right in here. Let me see. What do you got to trade me, buddy? It's, uh, yeah, see, it's right here. You get emerald merchant upon reaching 64 emeralds, and, you know, I'm definitely good for it. I've got the money to, uh, oh, wait, shoot. Oh, I didn't, <sighs> I didn't mean to deposit the emerald. But whatever, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and keep withdrawing. By the way, I know some of you said skipping, but fact of the matter is, guys, people prefer nice, shiny, polished, edited stuff. And I do as well. You aren't missing really anything important when I edit these videos. So I'm going to edit out a majority of the grindy stuff, which is going to include getting uh, the uh, necessary amount of emeralds. Because who wants to watch that, honestly? So what I'm going to do is just update you as I see fit. There are random events that occur during um, just gameplay. So if we happen to get one of those, I'll unpause the map really quick. Otherwise, just going to give you periodic updates as to the progress in terms of getting emeralds. So see you in a second. So my inventory is full, and this is actually going to be extremely useful because now the entities just get teleported, right? They get teleported over to that middle stone. So I'm just going to spam click this 
like mad and then instead of having to constantly come back and press the button I may just be close enough in fact let's go see right now you see it's all over here look at that it looks like bread almost it looks like bread almost okay so let me see am I close enough can I perform no way it works okay so check this out watch this look at that look at that now I just pick it up as I look at this. This is great. This is fantastic. I'm so happy. Okay, guys. New meta. If you want to get easy trades that aren't quite as grindy, do what I just. Just get a full inventory. That way all the entities get teleported over there. And then just and then just stand right here so that you actually pick them up and you're close enough to. And then you won't have to worry about all the moving your mouse crazy far. And then because what I'm doing is when you hover your mouse over here. You press 1 and it moves whatever's in slot 1 into that trade. Or for example, slot 9. And you know, slot 8. Or I mean, 8. You see what I mean? So, do what I just did and I think I think we'll have just enough stacks of glod in order to get ourselves our first trade. Oh, I think we Oh, we literally have Oh, okay, we got a little bit extra. But rather have too much than not enough here. Okay. So, the first trade, it is time. Right here. Give it to me, baby. Oh my gosh, this it it doesn't feel like it's worth it, but it's totally gonna be worth it. Now look, see? Now we are getting emeralds faster than anything. In fact, I don't even care to I don't I'm not even gonna bother trying to withdraw anymore. Let's just uh how many helpers do we have of that? We have list helpers. We need more um gold alchemists. We're gonna get more gold alchemists, because right now we really just don't have enough gold alchemists. Is it that? Yeah, it's that. Okay. So throw those in there. Look at that. Now we really cooking. And see, we're almost to another stack of emerald. I probably spent like five minutes just spam clicking enough to get enough emeralds or gold ingots to get emeralds. And now look. Now we literally already have that many emeralds. And you know what that means. First of all, let's go. Is there any more emerald? No, no, it's diamond now. Now, what what can I get, though? So I can get... Oh, my gosh, diamond's freaking expensive. No way. Okay, well, the reason why we're going to do this right now is, first of all, we just earned the jeweler. Now, the jeweler appears over here. And look, he's got some offers for us. The jeweler unlocks Battlegrounds, which is a completely separate area of the game. I have not even touched base on yet now i'm not gonna cheat anything in but look there are certain combat things and look dies look at all these crazy things they're actually called things um obviously they're not in creative mode but there are certain trades you can unlock once you unlock the battlegrounds now battlegrounds apparently i don't actually know that much about it is literally an area you can battle in and you can unlock new equipment and helmets and stuff to get even fa there's like entirely untouched areas of this map that I don't even know about yet which is probably the coolest part about it is there was no tutorial for this you don't know what's coming you know what I mean like you have to explore as you go and since the map is being updated there are like new updates to uh, you know explore and find out about as we go now this is where it kind of might get a little additionally grindy because we literally emeralds basic use is to just unlock lapis and then we need 64 lapis in order to get ourselves you know what we could do that's what we should have been doing we're gonna keep buying uh emerald collectors yeah i don't know why i did that before see look now emeralds are coming to us super fast so again strategy get helpers before you start spending your emeralds irresponsibly like i did because honestly the fastest way to do it is get yourself some helpers look at this see now look now look at our turnaround we're getting so many emeralds per second here. I think we're up to like 16 emeralds per second, which is honestly, is that, is it 16? No, it's it's not 16 per second. Just I think I think we're at eight per second. Look at that. I literally got a pop-up right now on my screen. You can't see it, but I have a pop-up on my computer. Every time a certain amount of people click on the, uh, the, the link that leads to the mind evolution, it just said 30 more people just clicked it. So you guys are going insane over this freaking map. All right, now I think we might be just close enough. We're gonna deposit these one last time and then I think we'll have enough to get some pretty quick lapis. Uh, and then we're gonna unlock the battlegrounds right here. Let me see. 
Let me see. Uh, we have we only have one lapis right now. All right, actually, I'm gonna pause once we have enough lapis. Eight, nine, ten, and then this is just for more helpers in a second. May as may as well get them out. You know what I mean? All right, that's good. That's good. That's good. So let us unlock these freaking battle. See, I I keep scrolling when I really don't need to. All right, that's ten lapis. We have enough, but let's um. Let's throw this up for some helpers. See, I don't ha you don't have to scroll at all. There's another little trick for you. Save some time. You don't have to even scroll. So, hello, Mr. Offers. I guess your name is Offers. Time to unlock the battlegrounds. Now, what does this do? The king of Minadon got interested in your mining abilities and has proposed you to become one of his shaft explorers and counselors in the battlegrounds. Now, I don't know what the heck that means, but what does this guy... Oh, so you can buy swords... You can buy swords and dungeon explore. What is this stuff? Wow, that's an expensive one. All right, all right. And see, look, this is what I'm talking about. Ice charm, fire charm, dark charm. That, these are expensive. These are so expensive. Hilts for dark leather, dark steel. Oh my gosh. Now, what are, what are these? High steel ingots and high leather. High steel ingots. High steel blade, dark steel sword, oh my gosh. Dark leather and high leather for tailored leather. Dark steel and high steel for rhodium. What is going on? I don't even know what to unlock. All right, hold on a second. First of all, I don't even think we really need to allocate more emerald collection because you know once, once it starts depositing faster than you can withdraw it, it slowly becomes like no point. Let's get a full, let's get a full, uh, tool belt worth and see what this guy has to trade over here come on man come on man this is crazy okay so so i guess the first thing we need to buy is the iron sword and then iron sword plus that to get dungeon explorer oh no way so it actually takes emeralds from you every six seconds so it takes away an emerald a second oh what the heck did it just oh i don't think it's something you actually wear i think that actually what you found treasure see treasure unlocks now this is what you, this is what i mean you get a better chance for treasure now what else can we get here okay 11 percent chance for treasure look at this this is insane okay wow oh 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 i shouldn't have <laughs> i should have done that okay all right i have a feeling this is going to get very very look at that looting three no way that's how you do it that's how you do it. And you got an ice charm up in here? Okay, 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 okay. This is insane. Hold on a second. I, let's just stick those in there. We're just going to slowly get more upgrades. I'm going to turn off the sound in a second, by the way, just so you all know. Wow, this is insane. I did not... I thought you wore the stuff. I assumed you, you battled. Maybe not. Okay, 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 okay. So we're actually losing a lot of emerald per second here by doing this because it takes away emeralds when you do this. Now, wait a second. What else can we unlock? We actually just, we just straight up need a crap ton of diamonds for this. Okay, so let's just use the rest of these swords. We'll keep one for protection because I'm silly. You don't actually need it for anything as far as I know. Wow, look at this. Look at that. That's awesome. Okay, oh shoot. Well, you know, whatever. Truth be told. Oh, so now we're looting dark charms and ice charms and, and crazy things. Fire charms. Oh my gosh. We're going to like run out of room. For some of this stuff. Can you deposit it, I wonder? Let's try and deposit just to Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh we got a diamond! The king of diamonds! Oh my gosh, this is insane! Now wait, that means we can buy Zirconian pickaxe. You know I'm gonna get me a zirconian pickaxe. Now I gotta see how fast this guy mines. This is efficiency eight and unbreaking ten. <sighs> You know, honestly, oh yeah, since I reset the map, I actually lost a lot of the, um, <laughs> I lost a lot of the achievements, uh, so, look at that, look at this, 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 oh my gosh, alright, you know what, I don't even know what to do now, let's try and deposit some of these, will these deposit, do the charms deposit, it, it doesn't look like charms deposit, um, hmm, well, you know what, <laughs> I don't really know what to do, 
from here other than to obviously keep collecting. But I think we're going to wrap it up for this episode of the Infinite Stone. Battlegrounds have been unlocked. And I'm going to keep this unlock. We are going to continue destroying, wiping out this series as you guys continue to crush those ratings out. Please, would love to keep seeing the support for the Infinite Stone slash Mind Evolution. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like I said, if you are, make sure you drop a like. Drop your feedback as well. The, make, the map maker is combing through these comments. And there is a good chance that your suggestion might just make it into the map. Now, meanwhile, I got to figure out what these charms are all about. But hope you guys enjoyed. And we will see you for the next episode. Thanks.